Back on Lake P. Lake P. Look at the light conditions. Look at that position, that sun. We've got about two hours left. I'm gonna try to catch a couple big ones. We've caught plenty of fish today. So now it's time to try to catch one of them big Florida heads. There you go. You got him? Yeah. Oh, oh that didn't take long. He might come up. Did he come up there? Oh, you <laughs> I had one absolutely slam it. Did you? Yeah. So that's just a big old flat up there. All that's just a big flat and it comes out and dumps. The contour coming this way and it's like 100 yards long right here. They're going up and down it, I guess. Right. We'll just go till we find them. There goes a... <laughs> oh, Tokyo rig. <laughs> Tokyo rig. <laughs> a Tokyo them. Tokyo got another. Oh, he swallowed it. <laughs> Tokyo down his throat. <laughs> Look at that thing. I mean, that is, if that's not proof that that thing works, look at that. Tokyo. What is that? What is that Berkeley Power Bay thing called? Chigger Quad or something? What is it? They got too many names. I can't remember. That's the ones we marked a while ago. Because see the distance off the. Yeah. No, God. <laughs> Missed him. Golly. I cannot believe they're being this stubborn today. I wonder if they'll give us a window though. Fixed to get up on them. Ah, he come off. That was a pretty good one too. You got him? Yeah. Yeah. Good one? Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Go, Pinky! <laughs> yeah. That is the deal. When fishing's tough, I mean, we're in Florida. We, we, we've thrown a lot of big baits to try to catch big ones. But the reality of it is, is sometimes you got to finesse. Even in Florida, in Texas, Louisiana, you can't beat a drop shot. And uh, man, I, I tell you, for me today, this is this has saved the day from this morning to the afternoon to this evening. It's really been a saving grace for us out here. Three foot plus liter, three eighths ounce tungsten drop shot weight, VMC weight. That's been the deal. Yeah, that stunk. I love it though. I love this color. This color makes me happy. Ike's Morning Dawn. Ike's Morning Dawn. <laughs> it's Ike's Morning Dawn. I didn't even know the color name. <laughs> there you have it. I should have called it Pinky. Be more unique than Ike's Morning Dawn. I'm taking credit for creating this color. <laughs> That's right. You heard it here first. I created Morning Dawn. Aaron says he did, or Ayler. Don't listen to them. <laughs> They're lying. <laughs> They're lying. With a bit of Florida trout right there. Hey, when they're 20 foot deep, they're all fun. <laughs> you can set the hook down there, it don't matter if he's 12 inches long or five pounds, it's like he bows you up for a split second, you know? Max scent. Make that on a shaky head, maybe? Let me get a shaky head out. Big shaky head. Or maybe, or maybe I'll rig it like that, I don't know. Nico style? Dude, I think Nico might get. You think get Nico would work? Yeah. Spaghetti everywhere, dude. Ugh. Fish on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese fire, dude. We're crossing swords. <laughs> That's a good one. Nice one on the pinky again. Tough bite. You cannot beat that thing. The only thing we're missing is one over four or five pounds. Get everything else. Gonna make it happen. Two in that three pound class, a lot of pound to two pounders. There he is. I think I hit the boat. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> Good, nice, nice save. <laughs> there you got him, Got him, <laughs> That's a penalty. Uh-oh, hooked that one in the tongue. So you're gonna broke me off, you got him? There's a load of them on there. We have caught the living fire out of them today on this spot. <laughs> gonna, it's gonna happen, man. Yeah, It's starting to get better right now. You, mm -hmm. you can feel it lighten up a little. Yeah. I wonder if they'll eat that plug eventually, though. They are next to his boat. Yeah, that's a bite right there, dude. <laughs> dude, it's the only thing there. So they've all went under there for a little shade or something. Oh, what you got? Come on. Come on, please. Oh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Been waiting for you all day, mama. <laughs> I thought it was bigger than that. Ah, guys! Big show, big one. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, nope, I ain't got it bigger. You'll kick your tail. <laughs> Third double of the day. Cheers. Yes, sir. Cheers. Yeah, look at that. This day has been unbelievable on tough conditions to catch this many fish. I don't think you realize, show, how cold did it get the other night? It was like the coldest of the year. It got down to 36 degrees. So the water temperature fell like 14 degrees in the last couple of days. So it's, when that happens down here, it's like total shock to them. Yeah, severe cold front in Florida. Florida strain bass is the kiss of death. But that long leader drop shot has saved the day for us, man. Ike's morning dawn, look at that. That's not proof. I don't know what is. Show, really cool day, man. Um, dude, we caught the snot out of them. <laughs> out of Lake P, the other lake, Lake P again. I, I mean, we caught probably 50 fish. The only thing today lacked was a big one. You know, it's always a lot of fun to come out here and graph them up. We caught yeah. them, you know, 15 to 25 foot deep. Yep. I love doing that, finding schools and catching them. I'm really disappointed that we didn't catch the eight, nine, 10 pounder today. But we've had a severe cold front come in. The water temperatures fell like 14 to 16 degrees yeah. in three days. And, yeah. and anytime that happens, it's gonna get tough in Florida. So to, to come out and catch what we caught, I'm, I'm glad we did, but I'm still disappointed we didn't catch that big one. Yeah, I tell you, for me, it was, a, it was a great lesson in Florida fishing. For Florida strain, you know, when things go south, um, drop shot saved it for us today. Oh, yeah, no absolutely. doubt. Yeah. You know, anytime you need to generate a bite, you pick up a drop shot, a shaky head, finesse style yeah. fish. This lake's full of big ones. Yeah. But if we didn't do that, yeah. we might not have caught any. Might not have caught a fish. Yeah. Well, dude, I had a blast, man. I, I appreciate you taking me out here. I learned a lot today. How did you learn about the blind mosquitoes? I learned about the blind mosquitoes. They're everywhere. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think we need to get out of here before we're carried away by them. Dude, the ride back to the ramp's going to be oh, brutal. God. Brutal. Blind mosquitoes everywhere. <laughs> dude, they are pretty hideous. <laughs> <laughs> For information on the product and gear used in this show, go to MikeIconelli.com and follow me on my social feeds, at Mike Iconelli. And if you want to help grow the sport of fishing, get kids involved. Go to theikefoundation.org to figure out information on how you can help get involved in getting kids fishing.